Hey guys, this is Comic Duo. Duo. Now, what are we doing today? We are doing Thor in the Warrior Four. Now, what we're doing also for our comics today for the week of uh, second week of May yeah. in 2010. We're doing Tackle Spy Girl, Uncanny X Men for the first week of May. I know, I'll be fine. Four. And Sashi's Fame and Wolverine. And Red Robin number 12. Amazing Spider Man number 6. Never mind. <laughs> Batman and Robin number 12. And Looney Tunes, we're not doing. But we're not doing. But something happened. <laughs> so. Alright. Thor. I'll be talking about this. It's my comp. So, now they're at this. Uh, Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, what's his name? Beta Ray Bill. Beta Ray Bill and Thor come back from saving the world. They go on their favorite and guess who's there? The Warrior Four, which is Power Pack. But in this little thing, they call him the Warrior Four. Now, before that, they show us before they're on the rainbow. And uh, Alex is like, how's this rainbow off? And, and which is really funny. You know, Julie has the power of having a rainbow flying, so I don't know why he would ask that, but... Oh, yeah. And then, um, Katie says, it's, it looks like Julie's tail. All right, so they meet this old guy in the end of the rainbow. And he said, oh, you're going to have to look like um, you're from the Norse, you know, kingdom in Asgard. And or else can't go in. And so they get their clothes from him. And they're looking for the same thing, um, that golden apple. Now, the warrior four are looking for the golden apple because of their grandmother, because she's dying. And they go ask her to get this apple. Now, this guy's getting it because of his wife, I think. Right? I don't know. I think it's wife. All right, so they get right past the room because of their clothes. And um, they're saving the world as the warrior four. And everyone changing their names. Now they're back at the end in Thor and Billy Beta Ray Bill. Beta Ray Bill they um, listen to their story and Beta Ray Bill is called Horsey. Oh my Katie. god, that's so funny. And he's calling him Horsey. Now, um, Thor tells a story about him and Loki and him getting his hammer yeah. stolen and then getting back. And then they all. Jack and um Jack and Katie tell a story about their grandma, but kind of in an Asgard feel, Norse kind of feel, but just a story about regular American life. Now they go outside and they see this monster, and they beat the monster. And Loki is the old man. Why does he want the apple? I don't know. And Enchant just comes, she and she puts a spell on Thor and the um Thor's father, I think. And Beta Ray oh, Bill. God. It's Odin. Odin. Something. And they all turn to babies. And that's how it ends. And this is a four mini series, so we'll see how it's going to go. And probably third issue, we're going to try to deal with the baby story. And then the fourth is probably getting the apple. Saving the grandmother. So, cover. Um, I thought it was funny, I guess. I like the cover. I mean,. I like the joke about that, and him, her yeah, having a saddle, trying to put it on Beta Ray Bill. I liked um, the cover, but... I liked it a lot. But look, I don't you feel like that's missing something? Not really. Like, there's a big chunk that should be right in that middle. I don't, I don't know. I think that's what his teeth are supposed to look like. I don't know. Show it to the crowd. I don't know. What do you guys think? Comment about that. I don't know. What, you, you know, you guys can comment about anything we're saying. Get interactive. Get interactive. Answer your exactly questions. Did. Anything. And if you maybe will review one of your comics you want. Maybe. Maybe. Doesn't mean we will. Doesn't mean we will. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to buy the comic. We don't want to. All right. Um, favorite part. If I have one. <laughs> if I have one. My favorite part, it's between two things. Probably the Enchantress part because I like how she did that spell. It's like this big circle thing that shows up, but... I also like when um, Katie first meets Beta Ray Bill and she starts calling him Horsley and that keeps okay. going on. I like that part a lot. What's my favorite part? Probably when she first keeps calling him Horsley. I like the rainbow part a lot. 
I, I didn't like, make sense. He should have known that she could I do think, that. Yeah, I think she should have known about the rainbow because thing. Because if that's, if her superpower is just flight, but she has a rainbow behind well, her, yeah, that's but in, You see in the loners, um, there's a comic that she's in, she's like 17 year old, You could, she does a lot with the rainbows, she could like, it's actually really powerful. Oh, okay. So, and she also was in the runaways for a couple issues. Um, so, worst part, I think the story with Thor... That was in annoying. The I, I skipped like that. it. I'm sorry. I mean, maybe he has to do something with the story, but I really hated it. I don't think so. I didn't like it at all. Let's all right, talk tell your tales. Maybe you should say something else about your tale. Art. Yeah. I loved art. Always like. I mean, I seen art from Iron Man. I think it was Iron Man in Power Pack, and I I know it was the scrolls in the Power Pack, and I really hated it. And this. This art, I always love for the Power Pack. I gotta say, I wasn't hating the art. I like. I it. love it. For the Power Pack, it's perfect art for them. Yeah, it was good. I like the art. I wouldn't really change anything, except the coloring on these pages. Yeah, but it's supposed to be like a story. Book, I know, so but... So I, like I like that. When I read a story, they're not beige. No, but it's old story book. Like oh, art. okay. Yeah, like, you know, old comic book from 1960s. You get I that, get it. That okay. color. Um, the only thing I actually don't like about the art is that they made the adults kind of look... Kiddish? Teenager-ish look. Yeah, I didn't... Yeah, it just looks like... Yeah. Look, I can show you another. Yeah, that, I just want to say I look like about. Doesn't she look like Namora from Marvel Heroes? Uh, he looks like an adult. Yeah, he looks like Loki an adult. looks like an adult. But that's all I can say. Who looks like an adult? Um, and that old guy. That's yeah, it. Well, that old guy's got to look. But like that was adult. Loki. So. He's Loki, so. Um, ratings. I gave it. I actually don't know. Uh, I want to say in the two-ish, three-ish area. I say but... two and a half. I give it. I mean, the last issue was so much better than this one. So I'm gonna I, give I'm it disappointed. a. I'll give it a two. Um, I don't think I, I don't think you should pick it up. Let's the, skip it. Pick up the first issue. That was really good, but skip this one. Pick up the third one, maybe. Just know that they basically make it to Asgard. Yeah, and just they like turn into pick babies. up the third issue. I guess if it's good, I t we'll tell you if it's good or not. But don't pick up this one. I wouldn't. So. Don't pick it up. That's our story. <laughs> <laughs> That's my story. Am I right? Am I wrong? <laughs> All right. So this is comic duo. Comic duo. <laughs> <laughs> he missed his cue. All right. Bye.